tonight is kind of the culmination of the kickstart of the Pulaski Park project. So tonight was all about starting the design process, which really means um, an analysis phase and a research phase where we engage the public and we get all of their information and feedback on how they use the park, what they want to you know, have in the park, what they envision for it, and um, it's really a note-taking gathering of information phase for us. We presented a very brief site analysis of our impressions, but the majority of the time was spent on getting feedback from the community. Considered uh, having the park be a CSA distribution point, there's a lot of CSAs that go on in town, but it would be one place where people could pick up all Attractive of lighting in the park, which pulls you in off the street, maybe subtle, low, colorful, um, also water features, um, maybe there's an integration of the two. Like Some of the common themes were that the entrance to the park, sort of the front door from Main Street is impeded. That was the word that I had stated at first and then people sort of picked up on it where you can't get a sense of the park itself, the depth of it, the scale of it, the space, the public space because of the trees that are there, there's a lot of understory and dogwoods and there's also this notion of it feeling like a bus stop. It has, this, this zone could be uh, more of a passive area. And then over in, in this area, we begin to be the more active, lawn, play spaces. So programmatically, it can be accomplished. Perhaps architecturally, uh, in the interior, there could be some sound attenuation. To see a place like Pulaski, which has, in a way, become... Um, you know, it hasn't met the, it hasn't, it doesn't represent the values of Northampton today, and I think that's what I spoke about in the meeting, that it has changed over time to reflect the period of time that it was in. It was once a historic park, it used to be stables a long time ago in the 1850s, and now today it's 2014 and we're in this thriving, vibrant city that has this really visible environmental ethic and strong progressive nature, and it would be really amazing if this public park right at the heart of it all could reflect that.